Hi. So I wanted to talk about some of my summer favorites today. I feel like I've been trying out so many new things and I'm in love with some of them. And I always love watching other people's recommendations because it's just so nice to see what other people like and use. So you don't have to waste a bunch of money on yourself and like trying things out. And these are more on the affordable side. I typically like cheaper things. I don't know, I'm in my 20s and I've mentioned it before. It's just sort of how I roll. I am a little more particular with skincare just because I have sensitive skin. But yeah, so like anywhere from clothes to skin products to makeup to jewelry, etc. I just sort of wanted to talk about things that I've been loving lately. And I'm gonna link as many of these as I can in the description box. I think I should have uh, most of the links for these unless I just bought them at a store and can't find them at all. So hopefully if you like any of these, you can easily get them. So we're gonna start with clothing items and I'm sure you guys have seen these like a hundred times, whether you follow me on Instagram or TikTok or even here. Um, a lot of them I've already sort of shown you. So the first items I've been really loving are these sports bras. I wore this in my um, Gymshark video and I got this other color too and I actually just got black yesterday, but you get the idea from these two. So this company is 90 Degree by Reflex. I've never heard of them, but I got these at Nordstrom Rack for literally $16, which if you know sports bras, that's an insane deal. And especially for me, because I need a little bit more support. And to my surprise, these are amazing. Like they offer a good amount of support and I wear them lounging around the house or working out. I got a small, which is kind of nuts because usually I have to play around with sizing because I do have a larger chest and like a smaller kind of waist. So I typically have a lot of trouble with those, but the small fits me and it like fits your body perfectly. I really, really strongly recommend these. Like there's a reason why I started with these clothing items. Like I wear these every day at one point or another. And the fact that they're like $16, $17 at Nordstrom Rack is crazy because it's a really nice brand. I looked them up. And then the next clothing item, you guys already know, the Gymshark. Oh, why are my clothes always folded? Like, do I not prepare before this? So it's these Gymshark spandex shorts. I show them in my Gymshark um, review video. I love them. I wear them pretty much every time I work out, sometimes lounging around the house, but I try not to because they're just so nice and I don't want to wear them out. But these were like $25, I think, $20, very affordable. They work for a lot and it's nice for summer because wearing leggings to work out in the summer is just like, are you asking to die, you know? And then if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have been obsessed, like literally obsessed. People probably unfollow me because I talk about them too much, about these sweat shorts. So they're just like gray sweat shorts. And I stayed far away from the sweat shorts phase, like as long as I could, just because I didn't think that they would look good with my body type. But these were so cheap on Amazon and they have like this really nice waistband drawstring so you can fold it over and it like cinches your waist really nicely and they're so comfortable. I literally pulled these out of my <laughs> hamper because I've worn them so many times. They're so dirty. But I was like, I gotta show this for my favorites because this is like an absolute favorite for me recently. I wear this all the time to bed, to get food, literally to go on walks, to hang out. Like I just wear it all the time and it's super affordable. I was really surprised. I feel like Sometimes clothing items that are in trend will jack up the price because people will pay for it, but these were so affordable, so thank you, Amazon. And then for sunglasses, I've always been sort of like a plain Jane type sunglass girl. Like I don't usually venture out. Um, so for a nice basic, I got these off of Amazon, also cheap. They're just like basic sunglasses, ooh. <laughs> um, but they're like a little reflective and they're kind of large, which I like. It's just nice for like a beach day or lunch or even driving in your car. And then I actually got these the other day. Um, a brand sent them to me. I think they're called Ambassador. And they're like definitely out of my comfort zone. They're a little sassy. Hello. <laughs> but I kind of like them. I think they're kind of fun. I don't know. I feel like they fit my face kind of nicely and like it'll be nice for like a cool outfit or something like that so i think this might be a new favorite i'm gonna venture out of my comfort zone and play around with it and then next for hair i actually got one of these last summer so it doesn't really count but i've been using it every day especially since i got my hair cut the gizu hair oil 
And this was a little pricey, but listen to me when I say that it lasts forever. Like, so this is how much I've used in a year. You need like the tiniest amount and it really like hydrates your hair. And I only put it on the ends just because I don't want my roots to get oily, but it smells amazing and it's apparently like really good for your hair. Um, so it is worth the price in my opinion. Like, I got the mini bottle, like I think there's a much larger bottle than this and I was like, I'm not going to need that and it's lasting me so long. So I really do recommend this. It's like a worthwhile investment. And then next, I just got this after I got my hair cut. The um, person who cut my hair recommended it to me because I can't be the only person with the problem of like your roots get so greasy so fast, especially because I get highlights sometimes. And then the ends of my hair get so dry and she's like, oh, there's a shampoo for that. And I was like, oh my God, like where have you been all my life? So it's this Kerastase shampoo. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I don't know what the name of it is. So that's the name. Um, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. I did take French at one point, but I, I, I just, I can't. I feel like I'm already noticing a difference. I can go another day or two without showering because my roots aren't super oily. So I really recommend this. This once again was a little bit on the pricier side, but this bottle's gonna last me a really long time. And she told me you only need like a dime amount of shampoo, which that was not me. Um, so it should be lasting you a while. Also, yes, I am filming this in my kitchen because my kitchen is like the only place in my apartment that actually has good lighting. I've tried and this is just the spot. And then for perfume, I've really been into the Burberry Her perfume. I've had this for a little while, um, probably over a year, but I feel like it's the perfect summer scent. And this is a bit, you know, pricier, it's Burberry, but perfume lasts years. Like that is a worthwhile investment to me if you find something that you really like. And this is like a really nice light feminine scent while not being way too overpowering. It's great in the summer and I put it on every day and I still have, you know, that much left. And then for skin, like I have a lot of skin favorites. I'm really interested in skincare just because I've had issues with my skin. Um, so I might do like a, skin routine or skin recommendations video at some point. If you want to see that, let me know. Um, but some of my favorites that I've gotten recently, this CeraVe Acne Foaming Cream Cleanser. I know a lot of people use their basic cleanser. I decided to get this. It just came out. Hence it says new, just because I have acne prone skin. So I wanted to try something a little bit more specific. Um, very affordable for good skincare like CeraVe's really really affordable compared to some other good skin brands um, and I've been loving it so far. It's just like a basic um, benzoyl peroxide cleanser and I feel like it really cleans my skin and keeps it clear and with every skincare it takes a couple weeks to actually tell whether it's working for you or not and I just started noticing that this is really helping with like my oily skin and my redness so it's great. And then for sunscreen, especially in summer, like I was always the girl who never wanted to wear sunscreen on her face just because it's oily and clogs your pores, but I finally gave in to this trend. So this is the Elta MD Skincare, and it's just like a basic sunscreen SPF 46, which is so specific. I don't know why they decided 46, but I got the tinted kind just because it's sort of nice to have like that summer glow if you're gonna put on sunscreen. And I will put this on before I use like a face moisturizer or anything just so it soaks in. It also has niacinamide, which is like a great product for clearing your skin and it's for acne prone skin, so I love it. This was probably $40, I think, so a little bit pricier, like the CeraVe was a lot cheaper than that, but it's worth it and it's good sunscreen for your face. And then I just switched up my morning moisturizer as well. So Cetaphil is another brand like CeraVe. It's like a good drugstore brand. This was pretty cheap. I think it was $10. Um, it's just oil-free hydrating lotion, especially for your face. They have a body one too that I used to just use as a face moisturizer, but I heard that this is better for you, so you might as well just do it. It's like super lightweight. It doesn't clog your pores, but it also moisturizes your face. So for drugstore brands, my favorites are CeraVe and Cetaphil. I feel like a lot of people have sort of jumped on that train, but I really highly recommend these. You should look at CeraVe. Like they've got a bunch of different kinds of cleansers and this one is just one that works for me and I really highly recommend it. And then last but not least is makeup. And I typically keep my makeup routine very basic. Like I'll put on, you know, some foundation. 
And then like just a little bit of eyes. It's pretty much the same every day. Maybe I'll put on a little bit more if I'm going out or something. But the foundation that I've been using all summer is this one. So it's the It CC Cream. And it has SPF 50, so on top of the sunscreen that I'm using on my daily moisturizing routine. This also has sunscreen, so like wearing makeup feels like a good deed. It's super lightweight, but it's like full coverage. It's really incredible the way that they've done this. I wore this all last summer, and I'm wearing it this summer too, so I obviously love it. It lasts a long time. Like this bottle was $40. I just love it so, so much. I couldn't recommend a foundation product more. I have played around with so many foundations just because my skin is something that I am like a little self-conscious about and this is incredible. And then I got this in my last video um, when I went to Target, but I've really been loving this Vaseline chapstick. It's like a slightly tinted chapstick and I just put it on and it's really nice. And then also for lips, I think I mentioned that I don't wear lipstick literally ever, like ever. Something that I use to help with that is this Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Balm or Lip Plumper. It works super well and it goes on clear and nice. Like it's just like a clear gel. It definitely helps plump up your lips and make them look nice. So I just put it over like a chapstick or like a lip balm. And like it does get a little tingly when I first got it. I was like, oh my God, I'm having an allergic reaction. I'm dying just because I haven't used like lip plumping gloss before. But this is super nice. This was like a little bit more on the expensive side. It's obviously like a Sephora branded makeup. So it's not going to be like drugstore price. But I mean, it's going to last. So I'm wearing this blush right now. If you can see, it's called Skin by Ella Rose. Also, excuse my nails. I need to get them done. But it's called Skin by Ella Rose, and she's an Instagram influencer who I've been following for a really long time. It's incredible, especially for summer. So that's what the color looks like right here. And you need like the smallest amount because it's very pigmented and it rubs in really nicely. Like it lasts a super long time because you don't need like any of it. And so it's definitely worth the money. It's just like, look how natural this looks. I love it. It's like perfect for a summer glow. So those are all of my current summer favorites. I probably could have picked more, but I feel like I went for ones that I really, really, really love. Um, I will try and link as many as I can in the description box just because I love these and I want you guys to be able to try them. And if you do try any of these, let me know because I'm so curious about what other people think about my favorites. I only invest in like expensive things if I feel like they're going to last me a long time and are worth it. So like hair care is important, sunscreen is important, etc. So let me know what you think. I hope you guys found this helpful. I actually really love filming this video. I love sharing with other people like what's working for me. Remember to like and subscribe if you liked this video. I post weekly. Bye guys.